if you sometimes find yourself stiff and bouncing and not able to follow the horse's movement, one reason might be that you have stiffness in your hips. So to be able to really follow the horse's movements, we need good mobility in our hips and in our pelvis. Today I'm going to show you three mobility exercises that are going to help to improve your hip mobility. So first we're going to do hip flexor stretch. Take a nice long step forward. Squat down a little bit. Make sure your pelvis is straight. Tip your pelvis back into posterior pelvic tilt. Really activate that glute and then stretch your hand to the opposite side. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. And then you can take another long step and we're going to do the other side. Same thing. Hips forward. Squat down a little bit. Posterior pelvic tilt. Activate that glute. And then stretch to the opposite side. And then continue and do five repetitions each side. Our adductor muscles, so the muscles on the inside of our thigh, can often get very, very tight. So now I'm going to show you a great mobility exercise, especially for those muscles. We're going to start on all fours. And now we're going to st stretch our other leg to the side like this. And from this position, we're just going to rock back towards our heel and then back up again. And again, rock back and up. And remember to breathe. You can, for example, breathe in here and breathe out as you lower yourself down and then breathe in, back up, and breathe out when lowering down. And our final exercise for this video is going to be a, a dynamic glute stretch. The other leg is going to be straight, and the other one we're going to cross like this. And now we're going to hug our leg, and first you can really slump down. So now you can let your back round a little bit, breathe in. And now when you're breathing out, really stretch yourself tall, straighten your back and then pull your knee towards your body. Breathe in, relax. And again, breathe out, really pull, pull that knee towards yourself and straighten your back as much as you can. So really bring yourself into a good posture. And again, breathe in and breathe out. So it's dynamic movement. You should be feeling it here in your glute. And of course, repeat to the other side. So you can do these stretches every day, for example, before you ride. I hope it helps. By the way, if you haven't downloaded my ebook, Tackle the Bounce, click the link in the description and get your own copy. See you in the next video. Bye!